scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Okay, we're really doing it. It's Whiskmas morning. <laughs> um, so a couple of things going on right now is we're heading to the uh, spirit release. The annual spirit release for the BC Liquor Store starts at 9 a.m. Woo! And it's... <laughs> oh, yeah? He's excited. Well, it's 8.37. We're not willing to stand in line in for, for hours. That's no. just not something we're going to do. Um, <laughs> so we got the annual spirit release where we're going to make some selections. And we've also got um, the whiskey festival. The... What's it called? The Victoria... Victoria Whiskey Festival, I believe. International? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, Victoria Whiskey Festival. It's huge. It's at the Grand Pacific Hotel. The tickets go on sale. Where's the camera? I'm like looking at this. I don't know. Um, I'm going to look at the road. Yeah, I usually watch the road. Um, the tickets for the Whiskey Festival go on sale at 9 o'clock also uh, at the Strathcona. So Great. we're going to hit up the Spirit Release first. Yeah. We're going to buy a few bottles. Yeah. Head to the Strath. Perfect. And grab some tickets. So it is Whiskmas morning. And uh, we're gonna come back to you in a, a second here and show you some of our our releases or our oh, bottles yeah. that we got. It's gonna yeah. be a great day. Celebrate by listening to feet up. Yeah, and get to bed early. Hopefully. Great tune. <laughs> you know what? We have Okay, this see you in a minute. Okay, so Trenny had a uh, disturbing dream. We're hoping it's not a uh, premonition or whatever you call that when things come true I, I had a I had a dream that we got to the the store this morning there was no whiskey left but we got talked into buying a thousand dollar bottle of Prosecco <laughs> <laughs> that that just I don't think that's, that's some, gonna happen that's, that's some a, damn good Prosecco <laughs> yeah we're gonna start doing Prosecco reviews yeah who, didn't you say your swim coach? <laughs> yeah, my uh, swim coach at the place that I work uh, was the one that talked me into it, apparently, in the dream. That bastard. We have to have a word with her. <laughs> well, hopefully that doesn't come true. Okay. We're approaching. We're almost here. Go to the end and uh, turn left there. I want to see if there's... Oh, left there. Oh, oh, God. And there's no lineup? Okay. Come on. Come on, people. That was great news. All right. Either we're way we're here. Too, either we're way too early, <laughs> or it's not the right day. Yeah, it could be the wrong day. <laughs> no lineup. Is it actually happening today or not? Look in the window. Union Spirit release this Saturday. Special tastings, nine thirty. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, well, in usual trendy and see fashion, um, we didn't plan carefully, and it starts at 9.30, not 9. There was no lineup, though, which last year there was 30 or some odd people um, <coughs> in line there, so. If you look behind me, that is uh, the Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire, everyone, from America. Yep. Exciting. Uh, so what we're doing, obviously we're going to Timmy's. Yep. Go right here. Uh, we're going to Timmy's. We're gonna get some coffee and uh, go left there. And uh, see you in a minute. We made it. We re we're really doing it. So uh, we're getting a sausage uh, breakfast sandwich, sandwich on a croissant. croissant. Yeah. And a double double. Obviously. All right. Heading to the liquor store. Let's try this again. Take two. Um, it's now 9.16, so there's 14 minutes remaining it before looks like the opening. some people Okay, there's already. some traffic now. Okay. Let's get a look at the lineup. Still not a lineup, but people, a couple people outside. Nice parking spot. Fucking tight! Um, we're full up on Timmy's, and, uh, we're gonna drink some coffee, and, uh, I guess we'll just stand in line. We'll make the line, because there is no line. They'll start with us. <laughs> Here we go, people. Okay, let's go. Filling out the form, making your choices. Good luck. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we did it. Um, a successful 
um, spirit release. We're gonna show you the bottles in a minute. We got four bottles. And uh, do you know what's interesting? Trini and C were recognized. For the first time ever. At the liquor store today. <laughs> wow. We really made famous. it. <laughs> super famous. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, we're home. Here we are. <coughs> Block you out. Okay. Um, we're back. We, we're uh, back. We made some excellent purchases. I, I'm hoping. Yeah. We're thinking we are we I'm some educated guesses you know I'm happy with our purchases <clears throat> um yeah. d there was the opportunity to get some higher end stuff yeah but we went for bang for your buck we did and I think we actually got a pretty good deal with this thing yeah. um we're going to drink something oh, yeah, we got got to have some whiskey while we're doing this yeah. um is another word for bang for your buck is uh being cheap cheap cheapskates us a couple but, cheap but here in BC Things are very expensive. Yeah. Like, ch cheaper bottles are still, like, $80. Yeah. Generally. Um, okay. Okay, so... Do you want to walk us through our purchases? Because sure. these are... We're not going to review them or even open them today. This is... We're just going to show you. It's kind of like a coming attraction. So yeah, it's kind of like a... Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, so, yeah. first... First and foremost, some people will be like, oh, what's the deal with that? Blah, 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 whatever. But I'm pretty pleased with this. This is the Johnny Walker. Can you see that? blenders batch the red rye finish sure it's johnny walker some people love it some people you know kind of look down at look it. down upon it but on the we've had some good experience with with some johnny walkers like the johnny walker yeah. green label is excellent i think this is just something unique and different the red rye finish uh it's only bottled at 40 40 percent but uh there are bottle numbers on here i'm pretty sure it's um you know, going to be a harder one to get in the future, so we might as well open it up and try it someday soon. And I will say, I believe it was the cheapest bottle at the Spirit Release. <coughs> yeah, it was. I believe it was the cheapest bottle. We purchased the cheapest bottle, okay? Get over it. Here, I'm going to just have a little sip of oh, what okay. this is. Mm. 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 Yep. Um, okay. okay, let's put that away. Okay, okay. up next. Go ahead. Mm, this is I'm, obviously a trendy selection. Yeah, I'm excited about this one, obviously, because I just love Highland Park, but... That's the Highland Park Valkyrie. Valkyrie? 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 Um, cool bottle, and let's just open it up and give the people a little look-see. Um, Highland Park has bottle. a new uh, packaging and new branding, and I quite like it. They kind of got uh, that like etching. In yeah. the All the bottles have really nice um, <coughs> embossed kind of glass features. Yeah, cool. and really interesting like kind of like a Celtic kind of designs on yeah. the front of it. Pretty nice. I like it. So what this we, is... What did we pay for this? Uh, I cannot remember the exact price. It's in here. I'm not going to search for or it right now. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Um, this was, so the Johnny Walker was $52.99 plus tax. Not bad. This one was $89.99. Yep. $89.99 plus tax. This one's bottled at 45.9% alcohol. It is no age statement, but it is kind of a part of the uh, series. Like, there's Dark Origins and Odin and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, this will be interesting. We're looking forward to some Highland Park. It's kind of Viking inspired. Yeah, here. very much so. Okay. It says, uh, um, in partnership with Jim... Lingvild in Denmark. <laughs> Always pronounce the last name with an accent if you don't know how Lingvild. to say it. Lingvild. <laughs> okay. Wrong. So, our third purchase, we I'm, got the... Uh, I'm excited about this. The Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. So, this one's exciting because, well, it is literally single barrel. There's only 300 some odd bottles with this one. Um, so $64.99. $64.99, that's a great deal. Yeah. Uh, it is bottled at 55% alcohol, non-chill filtered. 55%? Yeah. Wow. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. All good things. All good things. We've had their uh, their ten year yeah. and it's it's a nice bourbon for sure. It's the so, uh, number four alligator char. Yeah, so this, char. this will have a little bit more of a pop to it because of the higher percentage. Some redness to it. It does. It is really red. Fun bottle. Okay. <coughs> Last but not least, we got four. We got four items. This today. is our this is our fourth, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the one we're both the most excited mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Okay, today. Tale of the tape. We have 
and I may be pronouncing this wrong, but this is the Red Breast Lestau edition. Lestau. 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 So, uh, Red Breast Lestau. So, Irish whiskey. So Irish whiskey, every experience we've had with Red Breast has been so good. excellent. Like, it is just delicious and stuff. This is 89 plus tax. Yep. Um, which I think our regular, the regular 12 year red breast here, I think is 75 plus tax. It's yeah. About 15 bucks more. Yeah. And this one, and that one's also the 12 year olds bottled only at 40% alcohol. Yep. This one is bottled at 46% alcohol. Uh, of course it's no age statement, but still I'm fun. still looking forward to it. They've always put out a really good product. Super fun. So, so for now that's uh, what we got. That's how we did a very <coughs> whiskmas to you. I think we did a good job. Um, we, you know, all these products every year they release on the first weekend of November, the first Saturday. Um, so they are, you know, a lot of products are in the stores for a couple of months later. So there's going to be a chance we'll be getting some more whiskey release yeah, we're gonna, stuff. But this is uh, our excitement for today. We stayed away from the new Canadian ones because we felt they're going to continue to be readily available. So mm -hmm. we tried to pick off some uh, unique bottles here. And some of them were, I mean, we were 20th in line or 18th or whatever it was. Some of them were already gone yeah. uh, before we even got our hands on them. Some of them were just too damn expensive. Like um, the, what was it, $32,000 Bowmore was gone pretty quickly. Yeah, so we couldn't get that. <laughs> Which one's that in here? We'll show you a little close-up of what we got here. Yeah. $32,000 Bowmore Black. We didn't get it. We did not get that. Anyway, anyway, cool. We had fun today. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the experience with us. We ate some Timmy's, drank a coffee or two, searched for whiskey, it's you great, know, great drove fun. around. Yeah. Um, it's a ball. Yeah, it was a great time. So like our video, subscribe, share you it with you friends. Subscribe so you don't miss when we uh, get into these bottles. Yeah, yeah. They're coming up real soon, like within the next two years. <laughs> okay, so cheers.